Hello and thank you for joining me again on Run Level Zero. Today we're continuing our look at the desktop implementations of Manjaro Linux. We're going to be looking at the Mate desktop or Mate desktop. If you've been using Linux for any length of time, you will no doubt remember with fondness the GNOME 2 desktop. For many users of Linux, GNOME 2 was the the classic traditional Linux desktop. It's what we thought of when we thought of Linux. It is a very user-friendly, easy to navigate, easy to use desktop environment that runs re relatively light on system resources. You can still find it in some of the older, or not older distros, some of the distros like uh, Debian that have been around a while. They've hung on to GNOME 2. Uh, even BSD, you, you can uh, find it on two in there. And many Linux users suffered a broken heart when GNOME announced that they would no longer be uh, maintaining GNOME 2, that they, they would no longer be developing it or offering it, and they instead switched to GNOME 3, which is, is, is itself a decent desktop. But it left many Linux users yearning for their beloved environment. So Mate was born out of GNOME 2. Okay, so the, the Mate team picked up the GNOME 2 source code, forked it, and continued to develop on it and improve on it. So this is Mate, the traditional Linux desktop. If you're a beginner, I think you're going to find uh, the Mate desktop to be very comfortable, very intuitive. If you're a more advanced or seasoned Linux user, this is like a sweet homecoming. It's going to provide a very familiar environment. So, with the uh, Mate desktop, you have two panels, one across the top, one across the bottom. The desktop has icons to take you to your root of your file system. You have a shortcut for your home folder. I don't know what just happened there. Let's try that again. There we go. This is running in VirtualBox, just so you know. This is a virtual. I have dedicated two gig of RAM and two processors to it, like I do with all my virtuals, so they all have a fair baseline. And there's an icon for your trash folder. Across the top panel, starting on the far left, is your applications menu. If you're new to Linux, um, the applications menu is very intuitive. Programs or applications are categorized by their usage. So under accessories, you're going to find your disk management. And if you don't know what something does, if you just hover over it, you get this neat little uh, uh, tip that tells you exactly what the program is used for. So disks allows you to manage your drives and media. You have an archive manager, HP device manager for your uh, managing HP printers, a calculator, Pluma is the text editor, a file search utility, and screenshot utility. Under graphics you have a PDF viewer, an image viewer, and View Noir, which is another image viewer. For internet, Firefox is your your uh, web browser of choice here. Pigeon Internet Messenger. Thunderbird is installed as an email client. Transmission for BitTorrent. And XChat IRC client. For Office, you have LibreOffice Calc and Writer installed. You do not get the full LibreOffice suite, but Calc and Writer will allow you to do your, your, doc, your uh, word processing and uh, spreadsheet work. So most users, this is all they really need anyway. If you do require the full LibreOffice suite, so say you're making a presentation, something like that, you can download those uh, utilities, those applications in the software center. In programming, you have a variety of QT for uh, development utilities. Under sound and video, Brassero is your uh, DVD CD burner, which I like Brassero, it's probably my favorite. VLC for your media playing needs. 
Uh, VLC is a, a fairly standard cross-platform uh, media player and you have XNoise for playing your music which you can really accomplish that in, in VLC as well. For system tools you have your add remove software which is going to bring up the package manager. It's like we have some uh, updates there. Get those out of the way. Let's see. You have Kaja, which is your file your uh, your uh, file browser. Kaja is a very nice file browser. It is compar comparable to uh, Nemo or Nautilus. Lots of features you can, a lot of things you can do with Kaja. You can configure LXDM, which is your uh, display manager. That's what you see when you log in. It's, I like that they included this utility. So you can set your automatic login, uh, change your, your background that you see when you log in. So that's that's pretty neat. A lot of systems when you, you you're just kind of stuck with the way that they configured it unless you know how to get in the back end and configure it yourself. So it's nice that they that they included that utility. Deconf editor allows you to uh, directly edit your configuration database. This is a more intermediate or advanced utility because if you don't know what you're doing in here you can really mess some stuff up. So a word of caution. I uh, have a disk usage analyzer to see what's taking up all your room. Gparted for managing partitions. That's useful if you use a lot of thumb drives. View your system log files. Uh, you can manage your printing. Mate system monitor. Let's see where we're running. We're sitting at 292 megabytes. That's, that's not too bad. It's not the lightest system, but it's about average. It's on par. Uh, you have the Mate terminal, a must for any Linux user. Uh, your power statistics, software updater, and the SUS Studio Writer uh, allows you to write images to USB keys or to thumb drives. Next over we have the places menu that gives you shortcuts to your home folder, desktop, computer, and network shares if applicable. Under system you have your preferences menu which is where you're going to allow you to tweak your system and set your personalized preferences. Uh, if you go into appearance this is where you're going to be able to uh, set your your themes, uh, change your wallpaper, or adjust the fonts that your system uses. So you can really tweak it any way you like. Let's see. You can set your adjust your keyboard file management. The Manjaro settings manager is here, which allows you to con uh, control and configure the Manjaro specific uh, settings. Uh, let's see. Monitors, mouse, network connections. It's all pretty standard. Down here you have your startup applications menu. So if you want to launch a program on startup or if you write a script and you want it to launch on startup, you can control that here. Or if there's something running, you know, if you want to pare this down to improve system performance, you can do that from here. Under administration, you have your printer settings. And then you have the control center. The Mate control center is really a, a nice control center. I like how it's laid out. It's divided up, you know, personal settings. Pre pre this is where you're going to have your preferences, your appearance, uh, internet and network, control your hardware, and then others for your flash settings and proxy settings. So it's, it's pretty much a one-stop shop. The systems menu is also where you're going to control your session. So you're going to lock your screen, log out of your session, or shut down slash reboot your computer from here. Across the bottom bar, there is a show desktop button. So if you have something open, you can just click it to get back to your desktop. Open windows are going to be shown across the bottom bar. And on the far right of the bottom bar is your pager. If you're new to Linux, you, this is where you control your virtual desktops. You can have as few or as many virtual desktops as you want, and you can change your workspaces. So if you have something going on in one workspace, and you would like to 
have a clean work area to start another application, you can just switch and your your uh, programs will stay put where you whatever desktop you placed them on. So that's a pretty nice pretty nice feature. It's one of the one of the draws of Linux. So Mate is the traditional desktop when it comes to Linux. Uh, back in the day, you know, of course, you had people that that preferred XFCE, LXDE, OpenBox, and that sort of thing. Those desktops really have always had their following. But up to a few years ago, uh, the the only real argument in Linux was: were you a KDE person or were you a GNOME 2 person? And then GNOME 2 went away. Well, I'm glad to see that it's back in the form of Mate. Uh, this is a a safe user-friendly environment is a beginner friendly environment so I suggest you give it a try I don't think you're going to be disappointed please let me know what your experience is with the Manjaro Mate implementation don't forget to subscribe like or comment leave your questions comments or emotional outbursts in, in the comments below and I hope to be with you again soon for another video thank you